love bugs is Rosalind back at you one more again I hope everybody is doing blessed I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it is truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the um you know, the videos just give you a good vibe or an uplift. Please, you know, go ahead and share and give me a thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Plane 101. Hey, Oka is embracing the new empowered paradigm. It's true. It's just like you don't realize the experience that you're going through, the story you're going to tell, or you already are telling about your life on how you conquered, how what you faced, uh, the, the troubles and the trials that you have constantly um, had to endure it allowed you to you know be that 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 constant consistency within yourself you know where you're showing other people they can be leaders you know you're showing that through that you know you're showing how you're empowered you know when you're allowing yourself to be transparent allowing yourself to you know embrace your mistakes your beautiful mistakes like I tell y'all on that other video embrace your beautiful mistakes you need to do that because these are all the things that we had to go through experiences on being able to function of being the best version of ourselves we are in that vibration where you know a work in progress is no longer existing the masterpiece you're mastering your piece and when you're doing that you're allowing yourself to really project the strength out in you you're allowing yourself to know these are different things that are taking place in my life that I had to go through it allowed me to see who I was to the core it showed me of being able to show up my, for myself even when other people aren't even allowing myself to nurture myself when other people didn't being able to empower myself when other people didn't you can be able to do that you can do these on your own it'll be blessed a, a blessing to be able to have different people to do that but you're showing it is is even better when you have that that's a bonus but the real bonus is is when you can be able to do it on your own and you're doing that by being empowered to be able to say you know I, I've embraced this I had to go through this you know I had to endure this you know and it's just like you're you're allowing yourself to, I went through this that and the third and going through all those different things it really showed you who you were to that core. You know, they always keep on telling you, keep showing up for yourself because there's always a side of yourself you were not even, you know, knowing that was there. You know, there were so many different times that I went through things and I never knew that power I hold. You know, there would be different times people have showed me, you know, and told me that. And I'm like, oh, girl, you strong. And it's just like, man, if you only knew, you know, I don't tell everything, you know, verbatim, whatever I'm going through day by day or, you know, go to in detail. You really don't know. But then it was like, I had to be able to change that. Like, girl, have confidence in yourself. Don't sit up here and say that. Don't even, why would you even want to place that type of verbiage on you? You know, no. Look at all the things that you have gone through. Look at all the things that's been taken away from you look at all the things that's been blocked for a moment you know and look at all those different things that you had to really face that holds strength when you're allowing yourself to still be here even though it'll be different days you want to give up there'll be different days that you just didn't want to live anymore but you are allowing yourself to go through these emotions you're allowing yourself to be honest and transparent being able to you know put it on your platform to be able to give other people to know this this is a DYI moment you know do it yourself you can be able to do that and then you're doing that by showing you know because there'll be so many different things y'all came up and said Rosalind I'm dealing with this and I'm dealing with that and all I can do is send prayers because it's not like oh, I can say, oh, I can deal with that. You you don't, you know, anytime you can throw anything on the table because that's our problem. We judge people. We, you know, we, we block people. We try to bring hate towards people's lives. You know, we need to stop that. You know, we need to be in, urine, you know, in urine, unity. I say unity. Unity, you know, for being able to do that. That's the problem it is today that we're so bit busy on, you know, trying to bring people down and not supporting them. You know, want to be, you know, hating on somebody for certain things in our life. Being jealous of certain things in our life. And this is where we need to stop that. You know, we are all, we all have a project of a purpose in this world. We're all making something matter in this world. We don't have to go against people all the time. We don't, we shouldn't have to go against people anytime. You know, being able to know that everybody plays a part. You know, and I always, I always, I always tell my friends, if, 
you know, everybody deserves to be happy. It would be a, the sky wouldn't be nothing just to see one star there. Your happiness consider of that one star. No, you know, not, not everybody else don't have a right to be up there too. You know, not you know, like that. Whilst you do make it, you know, it does make sense. But it's like that in the world, and it's just like when we we were formed and designed to create change in the world, and for us to be able to do that, we had to go through our change within ourselves, change within our habits, you know, our our thought process, how we speak to one another, how we support one another, how we bring each other up. All these different things. We want change in the world. If you don't believe you can change the world, you aren't part of the ones that were supposed to change the world. You know, and they say that. You know, we're trying to do that. And it's just like, it's okay for you to say, how are we going to do that? You see how many different people, you know, you're judged. You know, you, you got different people. How do they call it? Karens and can't, you know, Kevins around here. You know, people being racist. People, you know, creating wars, you know, in all these different countries. You know, we're placing judgment on people. Because of one bad seed or a couple of bad seeds, you know, bringing hate towards that. And it's just like life needs to, you know, it needs to stop. It really needs to stop. And for us to do that, we go through the worst and the worst of our lives and being able to see how can I heal. I just want, you know, how you can be within yourself and you're just all in your head saying, I'm just tired of thinking about the same old things. You know, it, it, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep functioning day by day be, by thinking about things that are out of my control, things that I can't change, things that hit me to the core, you know, and it was, and it's showing you there are certain things that you still are not allowing yourself to deal with. There are certain things you're not being honest with yourself. This is where authenticity is coming in when it comes to you. You know, it made me think about that song by Kesha is, is talking about learn to let go. You know, she would tell people. You don't have to be a victim of your circumstance. You don't have to go through this. And she went through, you know, a uh, essay, you know, a uh, DV. She went through all these different things. And it was just like, she, uh, even though she went through hell, it was like, you are allowing yourself to constantly go through hell even when you don't have to. You know, and that's where our, our issues are because we, a lot of times we are in our own battle and we want other people to carry that vibration of that war when we're only dealing with ours. And they tell you, you know, climb the mountain, don't place it on your back, you know, and they're doing that. And you're, when you're doing that, when you're allowing yourself to say, you know what, I'm just dealing with my own issues. I can drop seeds to other people and tell them how. They can be capable of healing, be able to give that insight when we go through that. You know, even when we interact with each other, you know, and it, it, it can be, we are our, we we are a trigger warning without that label. Okay, you know, tell people we are the ones that they didn't get labels for. It was like, we, we don't have that warning label. We don't, and we don't even realize when we interact with each other, we trigger each other off, you know, by some kind of egotistical vibration that it was like, ooh, this came up. You know, and that's exactly what we were supposed to do in the first place. You know, because like, hey, you know, we were supposed to be in the same tribe. How are we triggering each other off? Because it's showing where we need to heal at, where we're needing that work at. And for we're doing that, we're changing the whole paradigm. You know, and when we're doing that, it's just like you're showing each other how we can heal, how we can keep it real with each other, how we can be united. You know, we got all different levels. You know, in which you're dealing with a whole bunch of different devils. You know, we're all a part of this tribe. We all serve a purpose. And we're all supposed to be, you know, united for that. And for us to be able to do that, we go through the worst of it. You know, and a lot of times, it, you know, especially when I see a lot of different hay is out even in um, in, in, in the limelights. You know, uh, what was it? Celebrity you know vibrations. And I see how different things go on. You know, because it, it threw me off when I heard... Uh, you know, I ain't trying to bring up no no sore subject, but, you know, uh, when Will, Will Smith, when it was known for him, he didn't call it the actual name of Hayoka, but he's like, he was, it was told that, you know, it was like, hey, he's a sacred clown. And I said, you know what, and that makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. And it's just like, we're learning from different things that we see that needs to stop. You know, I even see it when, when we're getting put in different places, like Jesse Smollett, I feel like is one. Pink is one, you know, even Khloe Kardashian, she's one, you know, and, and all those different things like what the what it is just the vibration speaks, you know, we're all going through different battles and, you know, some of us are going through it in private and some of us are going through it in public and this empowerment and different things, even when the negativity is out there, 
is still showing where change needs to take place. And it's not like I'm saying that empowerment is in negativity, but it's, it's showing you where we are all being affected in some kind of way. There are certain certain things that we are still in that weakness about. There are certain things that we know that we need to change, but we feel like we don't have that courage to change. And when we're doing this, we don't realize this is igniting a path for us to be able to go through. And it's just like when I see it, you know, I have to be able to bite my tongue because I want to be able to say something just like everybody else in the world. But it's just like, Roz, you've been through certain things just because it's not in public you know, you still dealt with certain things in life. You know, I, I can think of, I, I can really uh, sympathize with Jesse Smollett, even not with that situation that he's in. I don't know if he's still in that situation because it kind of teed me off because I'm just like, this is not what happened. But a lot of times we're targeted individuals. You know, they will use us as some kind of distraction. They will use us as some kind of example. I've been used, <laughs> I still go through that, you know, as being an example for certain things in life. And it, it was just like seeing that and, you know, you being able to view things is just like you're we're all going through different stages. And it's just like even when we, I talk about the thousand forty four um, where you're starting to see a lot of things is coming out where you, where you're seeing it. You know, even like I was saying, I'm, I'm team Johnny Depp. I don't care. <laughs> I'm team, team Johnny Depp. And he even is a hey, Oka. He's a hey Oka like that. You know, because I'm saying, I'm like, man, you got hey Oka vibes written all over you. You know, and they were like people giving him a standing ovation, you know, with him playing. I'm like, yeah, rock on. You know, Johnny, I said, I've been, I said, I've been a fan of his since, you know, um, since Nightmare on Elm Street. Just like, you know, like I was uh, with Justin, uh, what was his name? Uh, what's his name? Kevin Bacon. I said Justin Bateman. Uh, Kevin Bacon. Ever since Foot Footloose and Friday the Thirteenth, I was like, God dog, I forgot he was the one who played it. You know, he was one of the teens and stuff like that. I went way back, you know, and all those different things. But it's showing you, even with it, it's just like even with that situation. I don't, I don't get into the Amber Heard and all that stuff because I said I I'm tired of hearing it. You know, I got my own choice of words, but I'm gonna keep that to myself. But then it was just like, you know. You can feel when certain things ain't right And you can feel when certain things is right And it's just like I feel like You know what don't come out in the wash Is going to come in the rinse There's three things you can't hold for too long It's the sun, the moon, and the truth You know and those are the different things that goes on in the world And a lot of times it's sad that it has to be publicized like that But sometimes those are being used as an example of empowerment In some kind of way You know and I hope that makes sense to some people who are like Rosalind you feel like nigga No I don't think negativity is empowerment but the way that certain things have to come out for that the empowerment to come into play does yes it does and I feel that way you know I was like hey this is my opinion I am oh you know I don't want people trying to cut my throat come for me when I didn't call for nobody but that was my opinion on those different things because I feel like you know even with my certain situations I don't be in place in jail for certain things I know good and well I didn't do and I seen how it played out. I'm like, oh, we really about to do this? We really about to sit up here and bring in some folks and then they weren't even there at situations? Okay. You know? And then it was just like universe told me, hey, everything happens for a reason. You may not make sense of it now, but it's going to make sense. But you're starting to see a lot of things that's going in heavy rotation right now in the world. You know, really heavy rotation is out in the world whether it needs healing where it's bringing some kind of truth while it's exposing certain things that you know have been going on for too long things coming up to the light certain things being exposed you know d different things is being exposed you've seen the truth out of the matter of doing a weak moment for a lot of different people you know and these are the different things that we're showing there's some kind of empowerment that needs to come in some kind of change that needs to come in you are that you're, you are the leader of all leaders but you have to be able to see yourself as that like with me I said you know there's different people like Rosie you should be this you used to be that and it's just like I don't like labels I'm just here to do my purpose, but you can have I feel like this I don't like labels, but you can have that vibration that holds a leader you know you can be that person that you know that uh rocks to the beat of your own drum you can be that one that nobody can't place you in a category with anybody except yourself and like and you can't even be in a category with yourself i'm like no nah, i'm trying to be better than what i was five minutes ago i keep changing i keep improving i you know i keep healing you know i keep going through my truth you know and this is what is going on towards that because you're giving empowerment to show people you know no matter what you go through 
no matter what you face, no matter what people have said, no matter judgment that's been placed on you, don't mean that you can't hold the character of leadership. You know, and when you're going through those things, you will be tested all the time. You will go and be tested all the time through these different things. I, I get tested every day, whether or not it's on here or behind the scenes. I get tested every day, but it always comes back. It always reflects and rewinds that comes right back to me. You got this. No matter what you face, you can overcome that. Whatever you come into contact with, it had a lesson learned. Whatever departs out of your life, allow yourself to show gratitude towards it. Whatever it was that impact you, that hurt you, show love to it. But also allow yourself to, you know, to, you know, disconnect from it with love. Let it go with love. Allow forgiveness to take place. And this is where empowerment will come from. You're changing the paradigm of that mindset. And when you can show that, that's the reason why we go through so much conflict right now. And that's that's been going on for a good daggone minute. Anytime when you're allowing yourself to project positivity, project pain, I, I, when you, not project pain, but project change, you know how much conflict that you, so much adversity and diversity you come to. Just like when I tell people you put videos out here, there's a lot of times that your, your videos won't be seen. You can be shadow banned. Or there will be different people that want to bring negativity towards your vibration of how you choose to speak. You try to control your Fifth Amendment. You know, all those different things is coming out. Because when you start speaking the truth, a lot of people don't like that. And they want to be able to shut you down. It's just like a lot of times if people, Epstein, <coughs> when you know the truth and you ain't trying to expose that. Next thing you know, you a, you a liability. You a lost cause. You will go down. You know, all those different things. You're seeing it in the world. And you just be like, here we go. You, you see it you know we're losing children you know you, you're going through it was even it I mean it even broke my heart when I even started show um uh not show but seeing Jimmy Kimmel set up here breaking down crying or the different reporters that's making the news for the things about the shooting of those children I couldn't use like you watched it nope because I already knew I was going to be triggered by that you know because I feel like you, you're not safe in church. You're not safe in a grocery store. You're not even safe in school. You know, movie theaters. It's like, shoot, I might as well stay at home. You know, nobody shouldn't live in fear. But this is what that world is. This is what this world is coming to. And it's time for you. God is like getting real pissed off. But he's using it to the best of his advantage in some kind of way. Even when it don't make sense to us, he's using it in some kind of advantage in his way. Where he's at that point where you know you're seeing the inner goddess in us all the time. And this is what's going on. This is what you know. a lot of people sit up here and say, oh, I fear was coming. Or something evil is coming. The end of the world is coming. Yeah, the end of the world. All the stupidity, all this racism, all this segregation. Where you hear how even people are trying to eliminate all black people in the world. I'm like, really? <laughs> we really going to go through this? We, 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 we can eat and drink and go to the same places you can now. You know, we're not living back in the 60s. But yet people, you know, well, the 40s and 50s. You know, and the 60s. Yeah, the stuff didn't stop in until the late 60s. You know, but going through those different things in the world, we see it. And we're, we're still dealing it. And it's like history repeating, repeating itself. And this is where, you know, where the change needs to go in at. And it's just like with this going in, you're gonna, everybody is going to start seeing the truth within themselves. And a lot of times it has to impact somebody in a negative way. And that's the reason why I used Will Smith. That's the reason why I had to use Amber Heard and, and, and Johnny Depp for these different things that's going on. You know, a lot of times you, you have to find your strength through that, that diversity that you're dealing with. Even when it's so public, everybody got their judgment about you. Everybody's either supporting you or they're condemning you, you know. But there will be different things in, in those situations where you know change is really needed to take place. This is where you have to be able to, am I going to keep continuing to deal with this or am I allowing myself to separate from that, you know. Or it's going to be a thing where it's not telling you. You know, it's being comfortable, you know, being very cautious about the people that you choose to deal with, whether or not it's friends, whether or not it's lovers, 
you know, life partners, husband and wife, whatever, baby mama, baby daddy, it's telling you really be about that. When certain things is making you uncomfortable or where it's condemning you or where it's controlling you is making you docile or making you a, a, a doormat, this is where that time you need to start standing up for yourself. You know, when it, when it start coming up to that, because it gets to that point, even... Uh, Denzel Washington say that you get to a certain height and that that devil will trick you in so many different ways and will knock you down you can't be up there without the devil trying to sit up here and take you right back down you know and these are the things that we're going through and this is where your leadership of empowerment of changing that paradigm is coming from because of these certain situations that are taking place so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video y'all know I usually be bringing a little funny here and there but I don't think it was going to be on this video. <laughs> if it was, it was like a little touch now. So um, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to um, St. Anger. As always, much love to you, Alexander. Um, uh, Try Lover, much love to you, 941. Uh, and wildflower much love to you as well um if you're new to the channel you know please drop a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me i always leave my contact information in the description box below there's a lot of things that you may be facing right now and you don't feel comfortable with addressing it on the tube of you so i always leave my personal uh contact situ uh, situation information for you to be able to contact me one-on-one -on -one. and I try my best to be able to help you just give me help you have a deeper understanding about your path of purpose understanding why certain things is taking place where it is I truly love being a part of that just to be able to help out the best way I can um and if you also I also leave my link to my podcast that I have on Spotify and um iVox and e-listener as well if you want to be able to listen to it like that it's like i leave the link to there where you can and just listen to it pretty much anywhere i was at apple podcast as well i couldn't think about it on the last video but like it's apple podcast i got it on there as well so you can listen to it and um if you ever feel worthy enough to give a donation is please as well is the cash app is there and the address too um and whatever you're working, you know, you're working on to bring into your awakening, you know, your your uh, fruition. I'm sending you whatever it is that you need, you know, times 20 million, you know, whatever you're needing toward coming towards that way. I know what we're working on is hard. I know what we're trying to face is hard. What we're trying to heal is even harder. So I'm sending all whatever you're needing to get to uplift you in that way to stay persistent and consistent with yourself. You know, please keep going. If you need to take a pause for the cause, you go ahead and do that. But you come right back. Allow yourself to be persistent and consistent for anything that is placed in your way that can make a major impact. Not just for you, your life, but your legacy. So, much love to you. And you know, and keep on going. You know, devil may want you to give up today because your blessing may be coming in tomorrow. So, you allow yourself to keep going. So, you know, uh, sending that love towards you and whatever you're needing for those doors to bust wide open for you. Because it ain't going to be just one door. It's going to be about 20. So you allow yourself to keep going. And even through social distancing, please make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You never know. All those things will really take somebody a long way. And just because you participated to do that, it will take you even further. Please have a blessed, safe week. Prosperous. And please be responsible at every single thing you do. Much love to you. Peace. Shalom. I say. Grand Risings, and God bless.